Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Kissinger at the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York, and this is fifth grade math, module five, lesson three. We're going to compose and decompose right rectangular prisms using layers today. So let's look at number one. It says, use the prisms to find the volume. The rectangular prisms pictured were constructed with one centimeter cubes. Decompose each prism into layers in three different ways and show your thinking on the blank prisms. Complete each table. So we're going to look at how we can cut this prism into layers in different ways. The first way that we can uh, cut this into layers is into two layers like this. So imagine kind of like a wedding cake. We have uh, layers on top of each other. Uh, there's going to be two layers there. And if we look, we're looking at this top one here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Uh, 12 cubes in one layer. So there's two layers. And there's 12 cubes in each layer. And 2 times 12 is 24. That will give us 24 cubic centimeters. So how else could we split this up into layers? Let's look at this way. All right, so we have kind of like uh, slices of bread here. So imagine we had four slices of bread. We cut it into layers that way. So now we have one, two, three, four layers. And each one of our layers would be just this little side over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six cubes in each layer. So we have four layers and six cubes in each layer. And four times six is 24. So we have 24 cubic centimeters. And we should get the same volume there even though we split it into layers different ways because it's the same uh, rectangular prism. The final way that we can split this into layers is this way. Kind of like slices the other way. So we have like this front layer and then the middle one and then the one on the back. So we have three layers all together there. And each one of these layers has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes in it. And eight times three is 24. All right, so three different ways we can split that prism into layers, and each one gives us a different number of layers and a different number of cubes, but the same volume for the same prism. So let's try that again for this letter B down here. So we have a different prism here, um, and we have three different ways we can split this one up as well. Uh, the first way is like we did in the first one. We have a, a, kind of a wedding cake type of uh, layering. Let's make sure we have the right amount here. We have one, two, three, four, five pieces, five layers. So we have one, two, three, four lines, which will give us one, two, three, four, five uh, layers all together there. Each one of those layers has one, two, three, four, five, six cubes in it. So we have five layers of six cubes. And we do five times six and five times six will give us 30 cubic centimeters. All right. And then next we can 
put it this way. You know, like big long slices of bread. We have one, two, three layers here. And how many are in each layer? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cubes in each layer. And three times ten will give us thirty. Thirty cubic centimeters. And finally, we can split it this way as well. Two, two layers. It'll give us two layers. And each layer has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cubes. 2 times 15 will still give us 30 cubic centimeters. Again, the number of cubes and the numbers of layers will change, but the cubic centimeters, the volume for our prism will stay the same because it's the same prism. All right, let's try out a word problem here. It says, Stephen and Chelsea want to increase the volume of this prism by 72 cubic centimeters. Chelsea wants to add eight layers, and Stephen says they only need to add four layers. Their teacher tells them they are both correct. Explain how this is possible. So, Stephen says, or Chelsea says she wants to add eight layers, to make 72 more cubic centimeters. And uh, Stephen said, Stephen says he wants to add only four layers. So we have eight and four. How could they both be right? Well, as we just uh, did in those two examples on the front page, we know that we can split, in, split our uh, prism into layers different ways. So you could do layers this way, or you could do layers that way, or we could do layers this way, across the top. So it depends on how many cubes we have in each layer. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cubes. And if Chelsea wants to add eight layers of nine cubes, well, eight times nine, I'm just going to kind of take a piece of this like this. This, so as you see, this layer right here is nine cubes. And if we wanted to add eight more of those, eight times nine is 72. Now, and that's, so that was Chelsea's idea. Stephen says that you can add four more layers. Well, each one of these layers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If you have 18 across the top here, this whole section here, well, we would only have to add four more layers here because 4 times 18 will also give us 72. So, you could add four layers of 18 or eight layers of nine to get 72. So this one says Juliana makes a prism four inches across and four inches wide, but only one inch tall. Then she decides to create layers equal to her first one. Fill in the chart below and explain how you know uh, the volume of each new prism. 
So she's going to make a make a prism four inches tall and four inches wide, but only one inch tall. So let's draw that. All right, so we have two, three, four, All right. and it's not perfect, but we see we have four by four by one. And she says, then she, she decides to create layers equal to her first one. Um, fill in the chart below. So we want to find different no, a different number of layers here. Um, so if we have three layers, so this is one layer. If there was three layers, so we'd have to go down three, one, two, three, we we'll just be extending this down. So we get another one here, we'll come down with this, we have one there. We have kind of like a cube there. So we have four by three by, uh, Four by four by three. Well, we have four layers. Or we have three layers of one, two, three, four. Four inches across. Oh, that's where I went wrong. I need an extra layer. I only made my three inches across here. I made it four by. We're going to have a whole other side to it over here. All right. Now we have four by four uh, by three, three tall. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen cubes all together in one layer. And then I need to multiply by three layers. So I have 16 cubes times three. Well, six times three is 18. One times three is three plus one is four and we get 48. So we'll have 48. Uh, cubic centimeters, oh, cubic inches. Maybe be careful and read, we're talking about inches there. All right, so each layer, is 16 cubic inches. And we have three layers. And our explanation is going to be the same for the rest of these. This time we have 16 times 5, because we'll have five layers. So if we have 16 times 5, well, 6 times 5 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 3 is 8. And we have 80 cubic inches. Finally, we will have 16 times 7. 6 times 7 is 42. Uh, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11, and we'll have 112 cubic inches. And this is just going to be the same, except the number of layers will change.
All right. So we're going to stop there for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and look forward to seeing you next time.